friends, spiritual life is a knack. It is not a struggle. And what is the knack? This is the ayam aham kuto bhavati chinvata ay ar katam patatyaham aham patati. This aham who was inquiring, he himself disappears. So when the candle was born nearer to the glass, will we continue to inquire where that reflection has gone? This is called as Nija Vicharanam. This is what is called as inquiry about the self. Now see what is happening. We are not talking about mind. We are talking about Nija Vicharanam, inquiry about I. Because what is mind? Mind is nothing but not I thought versus I thought. I thought becomes fat when not I thoughts are too many. When they are reduced, this becomes thin. When this is thin, it has no concern about the objectivity. And then you can start inquiring, who am I? As a mother-in-law, if I sit for meditation, what will be my Ishta Devata? Daughter-in-law. Other people's daughter-in-laws are so good. My daughter-in-law is like, mm -hmm. meditation. Friends don't become anybody. Therefore, Nirvishesha Satta. Being without becoming anybody. This is what is the truth. So, 19 verse. Now we go to the 20th verse. Ahami Nasha Bhaji, Aham Aham Taya, Spurati Vrutsvayam Paramapurna Sat. Aham Nasha Bhaji, of this small Aham who was struggling and doing sadhana and wanting to know what is God, etc. When this Aham Nasha Bhaji, when you make a Bhaji out of this fellow, how to make Bhaji? Cut. Nasha Bhaji, then how did this Aham? Aham is not eternal. It is. See, this is so beautiful Sanskrit language. Aham, the happy or miserable one. Aham, Paramatma. Both of them are indicated by the same word, Aham. And both of them are immortal. How oh, both of them are immortal? Paramatma is immortal because that is the only truth. The Jiva is also immortal. Why? It doesn't exist. Can you kill the reflection in the mirror? You cannot kill because it is immortal. So illusions are also immortal and the truth is also immortal. Therefore, when divorce happens, can we say the wife died? So one is the sufferer is the illusory eye, jiva, and the real is the absolute I, and both of them are aham. Therefore, the word you see here, ahami nasha bhaji. When this little aham, nasha bhaji, when this is destroyed, that means now we give zero value to what is appearing in the mirror as real, we give zero value. Then what will happen? Our attention will be on ourselves. Now be attentive. When we are standing in front of the mirror and we take the toothpaste, toothbrush and show our teeth to the mirror, do we put it there? No. So we are looking in the mirror but knowing our sense. In the same manner, we play the role in front of the wife we are playing the role of the husband. So husband is like what? Like the reflection in the mirror. But that time also, attention should be on ourselves. No, it is just an appearance. Don't worry. It's okay. Therefore, this is only Karnataka. This is what he said. Ahami Nasha Bhaji. When this illusory Aham is destroyed through wisdom and understanding, then Aham Aham Taya Spurati Vrutsayam. Then 
in place of that miserable one, Spurati Vrutsvayam, Paramatma expresses fully. Paramapurna Sat, nothing lacking, nothing wanting. Be attentive. That experience which does not involve sense organs, mind and intellect. Sense organs don't, are not involved because the truth doesn't have attributes. Shabda Sparcha Rupa Mind is not involved because the mind doesn't exist. Intellect is not involved because it is not a concept. I am intelligent, I am not intelligent, I am beautiful, I am ugly. Concepts. Concepts of beauty are so different. All concepts only. Imagination. There was one a small clip I was seeing on YouTube. The most beautiful man in uh, some African country. Big picture. Most beautiful man in earth. He was so horribly ugly from our point of view. And then they explain. A person who has got a very huge stomach coming out. And who has got the back also huge one. And who has got a very horrible face and all that. He is considered the most beautiful one. Rakshasa. It's all only concepts. Nothing else. Therefore, this concept that I am happy, I am miserable, I am good, I am bad, this is only at the level of the mind. Therefore, when we transcend the mind through inquiry, we come back to ourselves. Be attentive. Everything happens only in the mind. Nothing happens to body. Nothing happens to Paramatma that we are. There is no light in electricity. There is no light in the bulb. There is no samsara in Paramatma. There is no samsara in Prakriti. See? Only man is not miserable. Only woman is not miserable. But when man and woman come together in a relation, then out of them, Husband and wife are born. And who are miserable? These non-existing entities. And what is all our spiritual practice, uh, life? We try to improve. Husband tries to improve the wife. Wife tries to improve the husband. Parents try to improve the children. Children always say, my father is very outdated. All the time the same thing goes on and on. Therefore, when you are thus not justifying, you are miserable. Such a cool person alone will understand this. 